Hi, I'm Kay O'Hara, Deputy Chief Executive Academic CIT, and I'm absolutely delighted that you're going to join us in this adventure in introducing iLearn to our approach to developing good vocational education teachers at CIT. One of the reasons we're embarking on this different approach to preparing new teachers, beginning teachers, or even upskilling teachers who have been here for a while, is that there is so much information um, in the theory, in practice, and in different workplaces about how important it is to be able to integrate learning and work. If this is um, an integral part of vocational education, we need to be really good at it. We need to know the theory behind workplace learning. We need to know how to facilitate it in the best way possible to be absolute leaders in this form of learning. We're being asked to do it in lots of other workplaces, so it makes a lot of sense that we move to doing it in our own workplace, particularly as we are an education organisation and we would like to be a very good learning organisation, to have within the way we work with each other, the way we communicate with each other, the way we facilitate learning, to really build a rich learning culture. So in terms of context, um, they're the key drivers. What's, what we're being asked to do by our clients in the world in which we are teaching, in the world in which vocational education is being facilitated, but also in terms of wanting to build within our own organisation the very best possible approach to developing so where stuff. do you come in as education managers? managing and responsible for educational quality within your portfolios. What we want to be able to do with this model is integrate what you are already doing. Mm -hmm. That is enhancing how you, um, with our support, develop your new teachers. Supervise them, um, supervise them in such a way that you are guiding and mentoring them really clearly in terms of our expectations but also really well in terms of moving them from being a novice to being an expert because that's what you want as quickly as possible. Um, so that if we can fully integrate all of those processes you're already using, induction, performance management, discussions about professional development, discussions about how you want them to teach, how you want them to, in to communicate with students, um, how you want them to organise their teaching projects. If you can integrate all of those discussions that you are already having and integrate them, enhance them, add layers to them that really allow you to be clear about what um, the organisation's expectations are about good teaching. And that's where the Centre for Education Excellence will come in and help you have those conversations. Through iLearn, the Centre for Education Excellence would participate with you in conversations around induction, conversations around performance management. A lot of the literature says that one of the things that is really important about workplace learning and about developing good teaching staff is that we are able to express expectations clearly. That's not always easy, but I think that's where the Certificate 4 can help. There are units of competencies, there's expect, expectations outlined, there's quality standards, there's a lot of information within the Certificate 4 that we could inform our performance management approach with. So using the outcome specified in the Cert 4 as part of your conversation about your expectations of new teachers, I think that we can come up with all of those things that are required in order to make workplace learning work in the best possible way. The next thing that you would be doing um, as part of this process would be organising your new teacher's work to make sure that you're providing them with learning opportunities. And that's really good supervisory practice as well as quite an integral part of 
the learning model for the certificate for. A third key thing that, that we might need to expect from you is that you do have conversations with your staff, with your new teachers and ongoing teachers for that matter, about those performance expectations, about how they're being developed, about how they're being performed, that you are throwing into your interactions conversations about good learning. And that you would be a workplace guide in the true sense of the word. As their supervisor, as their educational leader, you'd be a workforce guide working with staff from the Centre for Education Excellence to build reflection, conversation and good practice. One of the key things with this approach and why I'm really interested in um, promoting it and uh, in increasing the take-up is that it really pushes an emphasis on learning rather than teaching. This doesn't mean that the Centre for Education Excellence won't have a big role to play in supporting learners and in supporting you to develop this learning model. The Centre for Education Excellence will participate with you in meetings, um, will help you develop performance management plans that will be the, the student, the teacher's learning plans. We'll certainly work through um, recognition of prior learning with you and provide any other mentoring or support that seems uh, useful in the context in which you're actually working. One of the advantages is that the whole teacher education program will be much more targeted and customised to the individual and to your context, to your particular needs, so that um, you're more involved in affecting the outcomes and teachers are more aware of the relevance of all of the aspects of their learning to their own performance and to the team in which they're working. We'll still build into this model a whole range of networking because while we want to use the teacher's particular workplace and your supervisory relationship as integral to this learning model, we don't want teachers to learn in isolation. This really is about mobilising the whole organisation. So we will still be creating a whole range of networking opportunities and events that we would expect teachers enrolled in the Certificate 4 to participate in and certainly would welcome your participation in as well in terms of adding genuine quality based on your experience to the conversations. What we want to do is make the Certificate 4 really impact in our goal to build excellent vocational education teachers and we need you to be a part of that. So welcome aboard um, and I think that this first iteration of iLearn is going to be exciting. We'll all be learning together and I think what we're going to end up with is something genuinely fantastic that will make a big difference to the way we all approach teacher development at CIT.